What is up guys, Patriots here, and although I hate Afghan, all my gameplay always seems to be on Afghan. This is Modern Warfare 2 Afghan Free For All. Um, I'm using the intervention. This is on the console on the 360. I would have had some pro mod gameplay for you today. However, I messed up the fraps recording and yeah. So I went like 10 and uh, 4 or something. And I kind of joined, I think, halfway through or so. Um, it was Modern Warfare 2 Pro Mod on Favela. So, I, I sniped actually in it. There was this sniper available. And, and I had some fun, you know. Um, Battlefield 3 is down today on PC. Dice, fuck you. And we're gonna get into our topic of the day, which is Modern Warfare 3, good or bad idea, weapon proficiencies, also known as like weapon perks or whatever you want to call them because they're called proficiencies, but they're basically perks. Now, I'm gonna read them off and then we're gonna talk about it. So, kick, reduced recoil, range, increased range, attachments, two attachments, focus is reduced flinch when shot, melee, faster melee, stability, reduced sway, impact, greater bullet penetration through walls, speed, faster movement with weapon equipped, damage, shells do more damage. Uh, shotguns only. Um, okay, so, kick is kind of like um, steady aim, except when you're ADS, which is cool, I guess. Uh, range, increased range, uh, I don't know if that matters, because in Call of Duty you kind of have unlimited range no matter what, so, I mean, and the maps are supposed to be not too big, so that, that seems kind of useless. Attachments is basically Bling or Warlord, so, alright, fine. Focus, reduce flinch when shot, um, I forget which one that was, but that was in, uh, Black Ops was a pro perk, I think. Uh, melee, faster melee. Which was, I think, Steady Aim Pro and Black Ops. Stability, reduce sway. Uh, that's that's uh, basically going to make it like Modern Warfare 2 when you're aimed ADS, which is cool. At least there is sway. Um, impact, rate of bullet penetration through walls, FMJ. Speed, faster movement we with weapon is basically, I think, lightweight. So I think it means, like, if you have an LMG, you know how you run slower? I think it means you'll run faster. I think, if I had to guess. And damage, uh, shells doing more damage, shotgun only. I assume that means their range is increased, um, but that's what I'm going to guess basically because you can't really increase the damage of a shotgun, um, but I guess its range is increased, so therefore closer shots that usually would be two hit kills would be one and stuff like that. But my thoughts on these are, I, I don't mind the idea and there's none of them that stand out to me except maybe the shotgun one might get a little annoying, but there's none that stand out to me like, you know, fuck, that's horrible. Um, that's a disaster. Uh, the only thing I can say about it is that, you know, I was looking through the park list, and I've already determined that there are a ton of parks that I would never use and will never use. And I kind of feel that what they did was um, take parks that used to be in there, and they took them out, or they added some different pro ability, and put them on the gun, you could you, you pick the proficiency instead, which is fine, I guess, to, you know, but to me, it kind of made some of the perks almost useless, you know, there are a lot of perks in there that I'll never choose because, you know, their pro is something, you know, like, say, even Warlord, for example, like, this could kind of not unbalance the game, but make it kind of boring, stagnant, you know how when you watch um, Black Ops, uh, MLG, if you've ever seen it, everyone runs, uh, Lightweight, Sleight of Hand, Ninja, Famas, Red Dot. That's basically all you ever see. Sometimes on Grid, they pull out shotguns, and, uh, sometimes on some of they pull out Spectres, but, for the most part, it's Famas, Red Dot, Lightweight, um, Sleight of Hand, and Ninja. Now, the reason behind that is that those are the only useful perks in each slot. And, now, if you look at this from a public playlist perspective, you know, to get more variety, you have to have more choices. You know, like, back in COD 4, if you wanted sleight of hand, you had to give up stopping power. If you wanted stopping power, you had to give up sleight of hand. Then in Modern Warfare 2, they made the switch to, you know, you ha you don't have to give up anything, really, to get stopping power. And that just, it kind of makes it boring. You know, everyone has the same perks. And that's, I guess, my only complaint. Um, as an idea, as a whole, I like it, you know. It's basically kind of like a fourth perk slot without it actually being called the fourth perk slot. Uh, it's basically a perk on your gun. Um, kind of like an attachment. Uh, it re does remove FMJ from the attachments, which... I'm not sure how I feel about that. I kind of wish that FMJ was still an attachment, only so... Um, I don't know. Because 
I think that it's a little weird they chose to do FMJ as a proficiency because they have the two attachments um, ability there. So I'm not sure why they would choose to not have you pick attachments and have two attachments and then, you know, one be a red dot and one be FMJ and why they chose to make FMJ the proficiency because that's basically allowing you to have two attachments. So I'm not sure why that's in there. Um, I think that it could have just been a regular old attachment and worked the same way, but... You know, it's not a problem. I just think it's a little odd that they chose to go that route. Um, my phone's ringing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. But as an overall idea, I think the proficiencies are a fine one. There's nothing wrong with them. I just think that they could have been left as pro perks and attachments. and Or just as in Bling's case, just a flat out perk. Um, just to make sure that people, you know, they had more variety in the perks they chose you know just kind of make have everyone switch it up a bit you know more options because now you know that's you know a lot of one less choice for perks that's probably like four less choices for perks because they made them you know attachments to the guns and it's not going to break the game i just think you know now everyone's going to use the same perks again and people don't usually like when that happens so i don't know that's my thoughts on it but if i had to give it a score i'd give it a eight out of ten that's my score Anyways, guys, my Twitter is in the description. Please like the video and give me a suggestion for the next episode. Other than that, guys, it's been Patriots, and I'll see you all later.